Hi guys, I am Akhilesh and welcome to my YouTube channel AG. Thank you for watching my videos. This session, I am going to cover everything about the validation in MS Excel. What validation is and what type of validation we are going to use in this session and while, what a validation is all about, why do we need a validation, the pros and cons, everything we will cover in this session. In this session. See you in a moment. I have an Excel sheet open. We have three examples here. In sheet one, you can see here, there is a list having one column, customer name, and these are unique. In sheet two, we have four columns, salesman, customer, consumer, corporate, and the home office are the attributes of these list and in third having a single column list regarding their states. Now we have a goal used for uh, using the validation in all these theses basis on the scenario and what the funda is associated having a validation in an excel sheet. So first need to understand what validation is. In my opinion, validation is the collection which is represented as a drop-down list. You can put, have a validation on any cell, wherever you want, that makes suits for you. As per your requirement, place validation at any cell. Now come up with the uh, next question, that why do we need for val validation? Why we need validation for? I will tell you a story. There is a company having more than thousands employees and there, there is no validation apply in that process. But when I going with the discussion of the employee about their, what they have job done percentages, then might be chances to having getting uh, more than a 50% people pounds below the, below the average. But they all know that they have done as per the target given to them. But in report, they all found below average. After two hours of Q&A process, they have a conclusion that they themselves given the name somewhere in a wrong spelling. That means spelling somewhere you can go Peter and you have given a spelling P E T E R in somewhere P W -E T E R P, P somewhere P O W -E T E R like this. The spellings gets different, but the actual report having the same name with different spelling. In this scenario, we come with the conclusion that there should be a validation, and validation is always going on a unique field, unique, the field having the unique list, and using drop down this validation list, Go and select so that you can not miss any opportunity which is associate, associated with the, any users. That's what happened with this story. Around 50, around above the 50% uh, employee that they will be found under the average job done proportion. In this scenario, validation comes into the picture. That's why we need a validation. Validation is a unique field which is represented as a drop-down list where you have everything as a single unit. And in reporting section, you have included all those single units with formula having references. If there might be any spelling mistake, a spelling mistake, in the dump, that unit will not get p 
picked up its, its figure. That's why a validation to be created for having everything in a right place and right track. So validation can be of different kind. First, I am going to use validation as a list. That means normal. So for the normal validation, I am going to have validation over this customer name column. And this list has unique customer name. There are two ways you have to create validation. I am going to create validation here. So I am coloring this so that you can know there is a validation. The first way, go to data and use validation. You can check here, this is the validation tool. Use data validation option. And in this, choose list. And in source boxes, you can select all these names as a range. Then, okay, now you can see, now you can see all the customers are listed here under the drop down. Now second way using shortcut. I am going to have a second way using shortcut here. Just press Alt D L, Alt D L and select the option list here. In source boxes, select all the names, then OK. You can check here. The same list coming in B column and C column. B column validation created using shortcut key Alt D L. Alt D L. What does Alt do? Alt, once you press Alt, every menu gets highlighted. See, I am just, this time is the home menu highlighted. But once I press Alt, every menu gets highlighted. That is what, what Alt, of Alt key do. Then D. Then D, press D, D for data. Then press L. This is the way a shortcut key created for using. I have created a normal validation using shortcut and from the menu, from data and this validation options. Now for the second. Now I'm going to the third first because third is much easier than the second one. Third is with the defined name, defined name validation. Just select the range and give a name here. I am giving a name here, a state. That's it. Now I'm going to use only the state word for the validation. So going to have a validation in column C. So, shortcut Alt D L. Now, list. Everything is the same what we have did with the last example. Now, only things is different that I have one name for. This time I have one word for all states in column A. And that, that word is a state. So you have to give, you have to give a state, the name which you have defined, be the equal sign, then okay. Then you can check here. Every state will cover under the drop down list. So this is the defined name validation. Either you can use a normal validation like this using shortcut or you go with the defined name. I think much easier to select a name, define a name and then use under the validation. 
source box. That, that is much easier than what we have a normal. Now, for the last validation part to have a validation, see, I have one part this, but, and this part is column B, and this part is column C, and this part is column D. But what I want, that I have a cell where I have only these three options. Like, suppose here I have a cell and here I have another cell. Here I have a segment cell. Segment cell. And here are the customer cells, customer list, customers. And segment, we have only three, but we have these many customers. But, but what I want, I have three segments listed under the drop down. But once I select only the consumer, the next validation option will show only the consumer customers. Once I again drop and select the corporate, the next validation area will show us only the corporate customers. And when I select home office, the home office customer will get reflected under the drop down list here. This is what a relevant, relevant validation is all about. Let's see. Now, you know already how to create a defined name, validation, just give a name. So, the same process I go, going to follow for having validation, relevant validation in this sheet. So, I am going to select this whole column and going to write what is the name of this column? Consumer. Consumer. You have to go and have the same spelling as what you are going to valid validation and based on the value get reflected. So, selecting this one as a consumer. Now, okay. Now, select this one. We'll have corporate. Now, select this one. And here, have a range, corporate. Now select this one and name the range here as a home office. There is a pop-up coming up that you give the valid name. I have given home office. This will give you a, get a error. This will give us an error. Why? Because there is a space in between. And validation requires a name having no spaces. So I have defined this column is for consumer, this for corporate, and this for home office. This entire column B is represented as a word consumer. And for entire column C, only the corporate word comes on. That means corporate will represent all the customers associated with the corporate and same for the home office. That means we have one, two, three na defined name. You can check. If you ask where I have defined the name but want to have some modification if we face the same in future, then what will you do? Where do I go to have an edit? Or where this has been placed so that where, uh, where to go for modification if, if may face in a future. The same scenario for additions of more to more customer. So you have to go with the formula part.
वंस यू आर इन फॉर्मूला मेन्यू यू कैन सी हियर नेम मैनेजर दाइन नेम दैट इज वॉट वी हैव डन नेम मैनेजर यू कैन गो दियर यू कैन सी हियर दाइन नेम द कंज्यूमर कॉर्पोरेट होम ऑफिस एंड स्टेट फोर नेम्स हैज ऑलरेडी बीन डिफाइंड बट सेजमेंट इज नॉट स्टिल सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इन फ्यूचर फॉर एनी मोडिफिकेशन जस्ट सेलेक्ट द पार्ट आई सेलेक्ट दिस पार्ट और आई सेलेक्ट दिस पार्ट गो फॉर एडिट यू कैन इंक्रीज द रेंज यू कैन गिव हेयर हंड्रेड इन प्लेस ऑफ फिफ्टी डेट मेक्स योर टिल ए हंड्रेड selections this time i am cancelling it this is the way you can go for modification and now i am going to have a validation for this first in this cell so alt dl alt dl will give you this window where you can go and select the list i am going to select this list is a normal validation here so i have three lists once i select consumer then all consumer only this value will reflect here once i select the another name the same value this value only reflect here and same for the home office now i have validation placed in that in this cell in segment column but i want the customer to be placed as a validation here go for a list and in source area you have to select in right in direct in direct then which cell this cell meaning whatever value you select here the same get reflected here under drop down that's it now i have selected corporate so this could be placed here because corporate start from clare goods sino donal corporate this one sorry corporate this one ken blank jen hell because i have selected here corporate ken blank jen hale linda this one you who going for a change home office then hadol pavlan If there is any error, indirect I two. This is I two. Yes. Okay. You, can you guess what happened here? If I selected corporate, the list will be shown here. See, if I selected corporate, you can see here the list. If we have, you if you select consumer, you will see the list. For the consumer, clearly get seen or donor. But this time, I am going to select home office. This will not reflected here. Why? Because in this home office cases, I have defined the name, and I had faced the error there also while creating the defined name because of the space in between. That's why it's not reflecting here also. And the name was. name having no space in between so please do this and then select and then select home office now there is no space now now you can see the list so this is the relevant validation you can say that one option you choose and the relevant options will reflect you this is very useful now i have done the validation part but there is two more important while using validation or creating validation so alt dl go for in the same window you can done here you can use your custom whole number anything but uh, as per the experience there will be a real case you will find that you have to opt the other option but list list is the option for the most of the time 
but this is under setting but there are two more options available here here input message and error alert what should you do input message check i have here validation and i go there in input message here i have in input here as a title please select valid segment once you go there all this message will be see you please select valid segment from drop down list now okay you can see here the message will see always be ready to see. always be available here over the cell where you have created the validation list this is what a second option is now for coming with the third option just see i am going here here i have already validated validation now alt dl for the third option i use some warning title enter name you have entered wrong name Please check and try again i have given the message this one and now i am going to enter a city uh, like yuta i i uh, making some mistake while writing this yuta you can see what message will come up u t u h see the message will prompt you you have entered wrong name please check and try again continue if yes then this is what a message to go and select the valid name from the drop down this is what a warning message is coming to you you can also use this one or you also use this one everything is the same this is what a this input message and error message error alert option is all about so guys i have done everything about the validation part in excel so go use and check and try thanks for watching